Finding customer history is a task you can find yourself doing quite a bit in an automotive shop. In TechMetric, there are several ways to find customer history. First way is you must create a repair order for that customer first. So let's take a look at repair order 154, Mr. Frank Stallone, and we click into it. So within a repair order, you wanna be in the summary tab where you can find job history. Here, we've broken it out per job, not per repair order. So if you're looking for that job that needs to be warranted, you know exactly which one it is. So here, you can search for your job. So if I type in break, it's going to pull up all the break jobs that I've done for Mr. Stallone. You also can view by status and by job category. You have your posted date of the repair order. You have your repair order number. And here, if you click into the repair order number, it'll pull up the PDF of the technician worksheet. No names, no prices, no dollar amounts, just what the technician did, what parts they put on it, and this is something you could hand back to the technician. You have your odometer reading, you have your job, job title, very important to title your jobs so you can look for them quickly in your job history. You have your job categories, you have the total, and everything in this list was approved. The three dots all the way to the right is a way that you can add this past approved job to your new repair order, or you can navigate back to the old repair order. In fact, if the customer came in and said, hey, can I get an S or the invoice for that starter that we did, you don't want to print out the PDF form. You want to navigate back to the original repair order, which has been paid, 148, and print it out for the customer. Back to our original repair order, you can also add these jobs back to your new repair order, like revisiting, revisiting services. Let's say oil change here. I'll type in oil. And it looks like the last oil change it did was uh, back in July or June. So here I can hit the three dots and add that back to my new repair order. The second way you can find job history is in the repair order under the estimate tab. Your advisors can build tickets and view what they've done in the past. So up top, vehicle issues is why they're here today. Decline jobs are things that they've said no to, and we can add these quickly back to our new repair order to try to resubmit and resell and perform these things. You have job history. Here you can switch it up by a job categories or statuses again, and same concept, add it back to your new repair order or navigate back to the old repair order. The third way that you can look up job history for a customer. Let's start with our global search bar. You can search for a number of things here. If you hit the I, I'll give you a criteria list of things to follow. So for this one, let's use Frank Stallone's license plate. I'll paste that in there and it will show you which vehicle that goes to. So as long as you're putting the license plate number with dashes, without dashes, without spaces, or with spaces, that's what it's going to look for. If I click into it, it'll immediately take me to the customer section. So you can look up by license plates, by VIN numbers, or even by vehicles. If you haven't worked on too many Dodge Caravans, well, that's going to be the Dodge Caravan that comes up, the one you have in your system. Once you're in the customer section, now you have notes about the customer, you have all the vehicles, and same concept down below. This is at the repair order level. So we have two active repair orders right now. One of them is 154, which we just looked at. So if a customer came in, you definitely wanna make sure you don't have any open repair orders first. Save for later, you have accounts receivable, and then you have paid. And the last paid ticket was 148. Here you can navigate back to the original repair order. You can view the invoice or you can unpost this ticket to make edit changes. This is at the repair order level. You can then jump into the repair order and then you can see a more detailed job history list here. And you can also see exactly what you did in that repair order. I hope this makes sense. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and to share it with the rest of your team. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you would like to see more helpful videos for auto repair shops. 
Have a wonderful day.